we still working through it. Yeah. And just like, I don't know, you know, everything is just a process. So you just got to work it one day at a time. Like, I know y'all probably hear that all the time, but like, you got to work it one day at a time. And the opportunities that you do have to work it, like, you know, this last day, I'm saying we just got to, you know, hone in on that and just focus on, you know, the time that we're in and understand that we, it, everything is about the bigger picture. We got to look at the, you know, the bigger picture and we just got to keep on working one day at a time. How big can this final preseason game be in building some momentum ahead of the start of the regular season? It's like I told him, it's very big, you know what I'm saying? It's extremely big because, you know what I'm saying, this, you know, this is a confidence that we need going into the season. Like, man, like, we clicking on all cylinders. You know, it's going to be big. Tajay, how far do you feel like you've come? I, I mean, I remember talking to you in the locker room last year before week one. You were going home. Uh -huh. It just seems like you're that much more comfortable, not only here, but talking to us, talking to your teammates. Yeah. It feels, everything feels like home now. Everything just feels like you're supposed to be here. But sometimes you have to have that reality check with yourself and tell yourself, like, I'm supposed to be here and just, you know, just breathe. And we just like, as athletes and as people, like we sometimes in this position, like we take things like too hard or like we be too hard on ourselves, but we just got to breathe. Like all the adversity that I went through that got me here, you know what I'm saying? I'm prepared to be in this moment. I'm prepared to be here. So just got to take it for what it is every day. And you know what I'm saying? Put my best foot up forward and work as hard as I can. You know, it's a business and I can't be upset with whatever decision that they make, but I do believe that, you know, the way that I played on this football field was definitely a surprise to a lot of people. And I mean, I just told myself from the beginning, you got to go out there and prove it every single day. So I think that I gave myself the best opportunity to prove it every day. And I'm going to make mistakes. I mean, we're all human, but I think that I was able to build from those mistakes. And usually, I mean, once you tell me once, I'm not going to make the same mistake twice. So I just pride myself on that. And, you know, whatever does happen, I mean, I'm uh, proud of what I did. Playing for Denard, a guy that really values physicality at the corner position, I guess that's something that you feel like really is, uh, gives you a leg up kind of in, in some of these training camps when the D.C. is uh, loves physical cornerback play with your skill set? Yeah, um, I definitely do. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I think that the transition to the NFL has actually made me more of a physical cornerback. I'd say I play with more like savviness, more college, but when you get the opportunity and your coach just lets the reins off and tells you to go do those things, I think it was a great opportunity for me to be able to, you know, showcase that skill set that I do have that I might have not shown beforehand. And I mean, I'm proud of myself because it's given me another thing to add into my toolbox to be able to keep playing. Yeah, just efficiency, um, being able to show that we can move the ball in an away environment. Um, uh, consistency along with that, all three drives, just continuing to move the ball. When we played in San Francisco, two drives, two touchdowns. Granted, we got good field position, so just uh, being able to replicate that uh, consistency and uh, being able to be efficient on the road, I think, will give us a huge confidence boost going into the season. I'm sorry, I late to the party, but I, I know Coach has said you have, your play has kind of put you in the lead for the spot. What do you think you've gotten better uh, this off season? How much you feel like your regular season is ready? Um, this off season, I think it was just a lot. Uh, moving in on the guard spot and working my hands, uh, hands and feet, just taking a lot of the techniques that Bill Callahan coaches uh, and continue to just improve on them every single day, day by day. Um, and then get to the point where he trusts me to go in there and do the job and yeah, just continue to hone in on those skills and grow in those skills. And I think that's what's put me up there.